Hi, Maureen Killian, K I L I A N. Go, go closer. Again. Maureen Killian, K I L I A N. I'm Cindy Menigan, M E N E G H I N. And these are our children, Joshua and Sarah Killian Menigan. Everyday couples in love that have made a deeply personal, lifelong commitment to each other who are married celebrate their anniversary. They remember how they met, became friends, fell in love, joyfully planned to marry, celebrated their love and commitment with family and friends, and made the legal agreement to love, honor, and cherish to death do they part by signing their marriage license. And from that day on, they were known within our society as married, spouses, wife, or husband. Their relationship was understood by everyone and everywhere. No need for explanation, defense, or negotiation. No need for the governor of New Jersey to speak to their employer to hopefully convince them to extend benefits to their employee's partner. No need to be afraid to go into the emergency room and wonder in a time of crisis where minutes count if the person behind the desk will understand and recognize their relationship. That's the difference between being married and being partners in a civil union. One year ago tomorrow, the New Jersey Supreme Court unanimously ruled that gay and lesbian couples in New Jersey were discriminated against when denied the legal, economic, and social benefits that came from the civil institution of marriage. They instructed the state legislature to rectify that inequity. Instead of simply applying all the rights, protections, responsibilities, and privileges that come from civil marriage, they created a separate and unequal definition for gay and lesbian couples that still leaves us dangerously vulnerable to the same injustice that we fought and judiciously overcame one year ago. For over 33 years, my partner in a civil union, I'm not legally allowed to say spouse or wife. Maureen and I have made a lifetime commitment to each other. We work, pay our taxes, serve our homemade desserts at our church's soup kitchen, gather with family every month to celebrate collective birthdays and anniversaries, go to our son's basketball games and take our daughter to her dance class every Friday night, decorate our house in great anticipation of trick-or-treaters to come on Halloween, go apple picking and make pies and crisps for the holidays, and are settled into the average everyday life of a suburban New Jersey family. And yet, even though we are the very epitome of the backbone of our society, the family, with all the love, devotion, commitment, and responsibilities, we were denied our society's established fundamental institution that provides protections and benefits for couples and their families, civil marriage. Five years ago, we joined six other couples seeking justice for our families, suing for the right to civil marriage. We're still waiting for that justice to become a reality. Like all the other couples in New Jersey who have entered into a civil union, we still face rejection of our relationship. We still hear, you're not really married. We still live the denial of our rights and protections that only come from a real marriage license. We'll keep fighting for full equality for our families because that is what you do for the person you love and the family you have built. But how long must we wait for the equality the New Jersey Supreme Court ruled we deserve? Why must we wait even one more day for full equality? Tomorrow is the one anniversary of the day we were told our commitment, our families deserve equal rights, equal protection. Instead of getting equality through marriage, we got the unequal label civil union. It is not a happy anniversary, and it never will be until the state of New Jersey fulfills that unanimous mandate and gives us the full equality of a marriage license. Thank you. Thank you. Next to Peter, Peter.